Well, this is why they say, apparently, I have learned after doing it, that you're not supposed to use aluminum foil on the bottom of the oven because it will melt. Oh boy. Put something under the pizza, he said. I don't want it dripping under the oven, he said. Oh dear. Well, I've spent some time on Google, and Google says that the way to remove it is this. Oh boy. This is scary. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, it technically works, but... Oh dear. Oh dear me. That is really strongly stuck. That aluminum has very thoroughly melted. And pulled into little pieces of aluminum. This is a disaster. A great and terrible disaster. This is not working. Google recommended other methods as well. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Why? I was hoping it would just come up nicely with the razor blade, but it is really thoroughly stuck on there. This is going to require gloves, so I don't cut myself. I verified that the enamel is definitely harder than the razor blade, so the razor blade should not scratch the enamel. Ah, oh, what a disaster. How oh, is it so thoroughly bonded? <sighs> wow. That has not as gone quite as well as I would have hoped. <sighs> oh, I hope this works. So far, not very promising. But maybe the sponge is off. Mm -hmm. Let's try adding a bit of water and see what happens. The scotch bread might be too old. I don't know. The enamel appears to be unscathed, which is the most important part. Stupid pizza. We need better scotch bright. I mean, there's some aluminum particles in the scotch bright, but not a very promising amount. Let's try upgrading this plain scotch bright pad. Most important thing is to not scratch the enamel. I don't know what to do. I feel like that's scratching. The next step is chemicals, which I don't have right now. So I'm gonna have to stop for tonight and go to the store tomorrow and buy some chemicals that I don't have yet. So dissolve the aluminum. Cause I don't want to damage the enamel by scraping it too much. Well, the saga of the aluminum foil continues. It is another day, and I have located some 25-year-old sodium hydroxide cleaner. We'll see if this works. There's not much left in here. Okay, we'll leave that for a few minutes. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna turn on this fan just for a little bit of controlled ventilation. Try the 
this again. Oh, this is not working. I feel like I need some stronger hydroxide. Oh, maybe a little bit working, but not really. Try the other scrubber pad. is too hot. Recording may end suddenly. It did. Well, that's not working at all. So I'm going to have to go to the hardware store and find some stronger sodium hydroxide, I think. This stuff isn't working. Wow, well, is it ever a bright and sunny, lovely day. It's almost hot. Well, I'm going to the hardware store to see if I can find something stronger that will do a better job at dissolving the aluminum. We'll see what happens. Well, they definitely have a lot of chemicals for sale. I think I will get this. Do not use on aluminum. That should be good then. If this doesn't work, I'm kind of screwed. All right, safety glasses on. Rubber gloves, latex gloves. Turn on the fan. So we've got our sodium hydroxide crystals. Open it just to take a look, see what it looks like. Yep, okay, that's sodium hydroxide crystals. And we're supposed to add it to the water. I've got a glass jar here that I'm going to use. Fill that up with water, cold water. Well, I was trying to find a spoon, but I couldn't find a spoon, so a fork will do. And that should be plenty. The lid on the crystals. Mix that up till it's dissolved. It'll take a little while to dissolve, it looks like. Do not try this at home if you don't know what you're doing. This generates hydrogen gas, which is why the fan is on. It generates hydrogen gas when it mixes with the aluminum. That's almost dissolved.
did in this game. But we'll have to do. I think it still could look better, but it's a lot better than it was.